I'm Kerry Fink with Helping Seniors of Brevard, and welcome to Helping Seniors Update. Today is Wednesday. It's the 27th of April. Can you imagine that we've almost achieved our 30 days to slow the spread? And what a good, what a good step in all the right direction that we've been doing collectively together. We hope that you're staying safe and following all the precautions so that we can be around uh, and enjoy uh, good things and better days to come. So as what we've been doing on behalf of Joe Steckler and the entire Helping Seniors team, we've been doing these Helping Seniors updates on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, talking with various friends of Helping Seniors to get a sense of what's going on out in the community, what services are available, tips and ideas to help us all get safely through COVID-19. And so honored to have, we just finished doing radio just a few minutes ago, and I have the privilege of having Jessica Villanova from Enhanced Property Investments on with us today. How you doing, Jessica? I'm doing well, and thank you, as always, for inviting us on, especially like you said, we just finished up the radio show. Um, so we're excited to be able to connect with the seniors still and get the information out there that's relevant and needed during this whole pandemic, like you said, as we kind of slow things down and hopefully in the near future, we're, we're just going over the hump. <laughs> <laughs> no, no doubt. Well, it really was a good show. We had uh, Joe, Joe hosted the show and together with um, Dr. Kevin Kilday, who uh, operates Holistic Health Centers, uh, he had a lot of good insight about COVID-19. You know, since he's a holistic health practitioner, then he's talking about vitamins and, and different uh, things like that that are going to be helpful to building up your immune system and things like that. And then we had the privilege of having both you and Brianna on the radio show and talking about, I was, I was really uh, pleased to hear how you guys are just like running fast forward into all this at this time. So I wanted to ask you that question. Uh, tell us if, if, first of all, viewer, if you haven't, the radio show is online. So you can find that uh, on our Facebook page and also the Helping Seniors YouTube page. And I encourage you, if you missed the broadcast today, you can go back and pick that up as a podcast. Just listen to it as you like. But for anybody that hasn't seen the radio show, why don't you start by uh, giving us an update about uh, enhanced property investments and what you guys are doing during this uh, COVID-19 kind of time. Sure. So right now, uh, as a company, Enhanced Property Investments is still open for business. Um, we are trying to operate as normally as possible. I'll say that. Um, you know, definitely our phone line is still open. You can contact me almost any hour of the day. Um, but obviously, we're not doing as much in-person, one-on-one, usually at the request of our clients. You know, most home sellers or even home buyers don't really want to be around a lot of people right now with the social distancing protocols. Um, but we are trying to incorporate as much as we can. We can do some walkthroughs and some consultations via Skype or Zoom, uh, FaceTime, that kind of thing to connect still where you, we're face to face as, as much as we can at this point. Um, we are still purchasing properties right now. Um, the, the process is slightly different. You know, you're not going to your standard title and closing office right now to sit down, shake hands and sell your house, but we are still doing what we can. A lot of that is also remote online as much as possible, um, unless you need to be in person uh, for any kind of requirements as far as signing, but otherwise we're still, we're still operating as normally as we can. And the real estate industry in general is still operating. Um, we've seen a lot of other buyers drop out right now. A lot of the bigger institutional buyers are not buying properties. Um, a lot of those letters you normally get in the mail, a lot of that funding is not available for those investors or companies that normally buy. Um, but we are still open to not even just buying, but again, always to sit down and speak with a seller about what your options are. You know, the last thing you want to do is make a rash decision at this point. But if it's a situation that you are already considering selling or you're in a situation you need to sell, we can still sit and talk you through that, see what your best option is. You know, as you say that, I was thinking about there are at least three excellent TV programs that uh, uh, you've, uh, you've been a guest on with the Helping Seniors organization. Those TV programs, by the way, are available uh, both on the website at helpingseniorsofbrevard.org, Helping Seniors of brevard.org and you would just uh, put them in the search bar and you want to see Jessica Villanova of Enhanced Property Investments. You can also find us on the Helping Seniors YouTube channel. And those programs are really good because I think the thing that I walked away with uh, from each of those, I learned something each time we sat down 
and, and talked about this, uh, I think one of the greatest things was to understand what goes on in this uh, market that some people might uh, incorrectly think is, oh, it's a flipper market. And what, what you really do is uh, you've, you've explained how you guys really create value in the process and simplify the whole transaction from a, um, from a seller standpoint, and you can get them and you can move quickly and help them get through the things that they need to do. Yes, we definitely try to do that as much as possible. Um, like you said, people have different understandings of the market and, and where we're at, but we always try to explain to them that everyone's situation is different. You know, yes, it does matter where the market's at, but at the end of the day, we try to make it more about the individual seller. And that I think is where our, a lot of our value does lie because as most home sellers know, a lot of people aren't willing to sit down and do that. And, and that to us is the most important part. Well, you know, everybody's making the adjustments during this, during this particular time. And one of the things we were talking about before we started the camera was uh, even at Helping Seniors, we had had the uh, Helping Seniors car raffle set up for the 25th of April. That was supposed to be our original grand drawing date. And with the governor's precautions about large gatherings, and this is a large gathering. Last year, there was over 2,000 people. And even though the Muscle Car Museum is huge, and once they get the whole gallery opened up, it's not, uh, you know, you, you could still be there and have social distancing and make it all work. Uh, they don't want to, they don't want to release the reschedule date until the governor uh, relaxes those restrictions. But I want to also say that the Helping Seniors Car Raffle is on and we do need you, you and your support. And it's going to be a great party when we are able to open that up. I know Joe Steckler and Mark Pylock, the owner of the American Muscle Car Museum, are triangulating on a date, even as we speak, uh, that we're going to be able to release. But the car raffle is on. You can get your tickets, one for $25, five for $100 donation. Each ticket is an admit one to the actual uh, grand drawing event, which uh, is coming very soon. And uh, we look forward to having your help with that. It's helpingseniorscarraffle.com. And so I was saying, Jessica, also one of the things we like to do in the Helping Seniors Update is, and this was great because you guys were talking about this actually on the radio show uh, today, was that, uh, that you guys have really made it a point to try to put information out there that is a value of uh, resources that seniors should know about. And so while we're doing Helping Seniors Update, I wanted to ask you about that as well. Sure. And, and definitely one of the things I'd like to put out there first is you know, there's a lot of information going out right now from a lot of different sources. Um, I, I wouldn't say that, you know, all of it is false, but there definitely is a lot of information going around that isn't true. So definitely always verify, um, you know, even if you have a question about something you hear, you can call us, you know, we might not know the answer, but a lot of times we have the resources that we can say, okay, let me just verify that for you. That doesn't sound quite right, you know. <laughs> so, you know I, just, I, I want to interrupt you and say that we have a saying in our house, if it's on the internet, it must be true, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so as a subtopic to that, let me, let me give you the phone number too, uh, because Kim Bernard, our uh, education specialist, is actively, even though the office, uh, for the same reason of safety precautions, we're not taking walk-in traffic, uh, Kim is on duty and taking calls right and left at 321-473-7770, 321-473-7770. And you're right, that information is so important. So I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I was thinking. Oh, you're fine. It's, it's just ahead. has to be said, because of course, we see that a lot. Um, so one of the resources that we have put out there um, is United Way. Mm -hmm. They have a, a community relief fund for covid um, they can also give some more information on local contacts and information if you have problems either paying a mortgage, paying rent, getting food right now. You know, there are a lot of yes. different things going on. Um, their number is 866-211-9966. And again, that's United Way. Um, we do also have another more local resource, the, Br the Brevard County COVID-19 Initiative. Mm -hmm. Um, also the same kind of situation, having problems with either real estate related or other problems throughout this. Um, our contact was Diane Scott mm -hmm. and her number is 321-241-6610. Um, both great resources if you're just having any trouble through this pandemic. And then again, our website at um, www.enhanced propertyinvestments.com. We try to update some information and, and even more on social media and our Facebook page because um, we kind of see more people using those these days. 
as we're all sitting home through the pandemic. <laughs> but uh, we try to post some updated information on there as well, resources, phone numbers. No, and that's so important. And I was going to tell you, if you visit helpingseniorsupdates.com, helpingseniorsupdates.com, it's a special side page that we've added to the Helping Seniors website. And what we've tried to do there is we've tried to aggregate all these good information numbers and things. Kim, for example, has put together a list of food banks in our county. That's there. We have some tips on avoiding scams from uh, our state attorney general, uh, Phil Archer. There's information uh, from Bill Posey's office about, you know, if you're looking for financial resources, like where's my, where's my stimulus check, or uh, if you're a small business looking for the, you know, what kind of relief is available, they've got some excellent links there. So we've linked all that, and I'm going to add those that you just spoke about as well. But most importantly, if people say, listen, I am stretched, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do in my home right now, I don't know, I'm not sure... Uh, really all this stuff, maybe I was planning to sell and it doesn't really look like this is the right time. I know that you've always encouraged people to give you a call. Even, even if they say, well, I'm going to take a different route later, it seems like you really want to have the opportunity to, to share some information based on a specific situation. How do people get in touch with you guys? Definitely. So you can connect with us through Facebook or the website, but of course the easiest way is usually by phone. Mm -hmm. Our direct phone number, 321 three five one three two 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 mm -hmm. um, and more often than not you'll get directed straight to me that way um, so just know you're, you're going to be reaching me or sometimes you might also get in touch with Brianna that way but um, for the most part like I said that's our direct and again that's three two one three five one three two 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 well, and that's great. And listen, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to help us with Helping Seniors Updates. We appreciate all that you guys do uh, to help us along with uh, Helping Seniors. And so viewer, if you get a chance, make sure you catch the radio show uh, that was broadcast earlier today. Uh, the, again, the podcast is available. You can find all of that at helpingseniorsofbrevard.org. And you'll really enjoy good information from Jessica Villanova and Brianna Goins from Enhanced Property Investments. And I encourage you to take advantage of all that there is uh, to be learned and uh, explored in all that. So thank you again, Jessica, for being part of Helping Seniors and being part of this today. Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate it. And uh, everyone out there, just stay safe. That's right. Do stay safe. We'll see you again on Friday with Helping Seniors Updates.